Welcome back to your course on Object Oriented Programming using Java. In this video, we are going to learn about data types. So data types represent the different values to be stored in the variable. In Java, there are two kinds of data types. First one is called primitive data types and the second one is called non-primitive data types. Let's discuss both of them in detail. So uh, before going into the details of primitive and non-primitive, we'll just see what are the different types which are present inside both of the categories. So in primitive, we have got two categories. The first one is numeric and the second one is called non-numeric values. Okay. So in numeric, we have got integers and floating point data types. In integer, there are four data types, byte, short, int, and long. And in floating point, we have got double and float. And in non-numeric, we have got two data types, character and boolean. And when we come to non-primitive, we have got multiple data types. Most common ones are string, arrays, and some user-defined classes. Let's talk about primitive data types. So a primitive data type is a predefined, or rather it is predefined by the language and named by a keyword. In total, there are eight primitive data types byte, short, int, float, double, long, char, and boolean. So if you get into the details, boolean has a default size of one bit and it can have only two values, true or false. Next one is char, which can hold two bytes of information and the value can range from 0 to 65,535. Byte can hold one byte of information and it ranges from minus 128 to 127. Same goes with short, it's, it can hold in two byte of information and range from this to this. So you can go through this entire chart and you get a rough idea what kind of value a particular variable can hold. And once you'll start writing codes, you'll get this idea when to use what kind of data type. Next, we are going to discuss non-primitive data types. So non-primitive data type are also called as reference data types. And they are more sophisticated members of the data type family. Unlike primitive data types, they don't store the value directory. Instead, what they do is they store a reference of that value. The reference is also known as the address. So let's say if the value of the variable is 40, non-primitive data type will won't store the value of 40. Instead, it will store the value of, uh, instead it will store the address of this 40. Okay. Hence, Java keeps the reference, also the address to that value and not the value itself. So some of the non-primitive data types are strings, arrays, classes, and interfaces. So once we'll get deep into the course, you will see that we are using non-primitive data types a lot. That was all for this video. We'll continue on the next video. Thanks.